Okay, so we have the back cabinet done here on the floor, and it uh, works very nice. There, just like that. And it's close enough that both of these will stay shut just like that. Yep. I think it turned out pretty good um, with the rest of the uh, cabinetry. So I can put bedding, pillows, and all that kind of good stuff down there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the railing that goes around here that we can set our table on so we can uh, make our bed. We're going to make it just like these, uh, how I set these rails up. We'll do the style on the back first, and then we'll do the sides. And on the corners here, we'll go ahead and miter those at 45. And once I figure out what kind of trim that I'll be using on the corners, we might have to take it off and cut back just a little bit. So for that, from my previous old boat building days, I have some uh, nice big chunks of uh, mahogany left over. And I'm going to rip that into inch and three eighths pieces and then one inch wide, uh, just like these. And I like the wood, it's easy to work with, and the color uh, accents the blues and uh, goes along with the floor. So let me get those cut and then we'll uh, start fastening on and then we'll make our table and we'll get it in place. And then our next task will be the laminate. But, I decided I didn't like this color. Um, it's just a little bit too, I don't know, too light, bright, noisy, I don't know. But I got me some different color and, and uh, pattern, which I think should go <laughs> with the rest of the floor or decor. It's got the colors that I want. This one here doesn't, other than the floor, just a little bit really doesn't match too much in here so I'm not liking it much so I went to the store today bought another piece of Formica and I'll cut that get it to fit and then we'll get that one laminated and I think with the next uh, the style that I have I might actually cover the tables too because well, depending what it looks like up here uh, I think it's gonna look good on the tables okay let me get some wood cut Okay, so we've got the railing installed, and uh, <clears throat> I took it right to the edge. Like I said, once I get the corner trim and stuff, I'll have to take this off and probably make another cut. But we got that all the way around, and I have a board cut for the table. So let me set that in there and show you what that looks like where the bed would set. Okay, so the board's cut, and... Uh, Next, we're going to make a little bit of um, trim to it. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of slightly round the face and the back edge. We'll give it a little bit of a curve, um, just a little accent, and then we'll uh, radius the corners. And we'll get that set up, and that part will be done. So here's the new countertop. Um, I decided... Uh, when I walked into the trailer, the last countertop I had uh, brought a little too much attention to just the counter. So <laughs> I went down and got another piece, and I think this one looks a little bit better. It's not so distracting. Um, and actually, I really like this one. And I think I'm going to actually cover the table and the uh, area back here with it also. So. Without any further ado, let me go ahead and trim my tabletop here. We'll get corners radius. We'll get it in place. See what that looks like. And then uh, we'll start laminating. Cool. We'll have a new countertop installed. Okay. Stay tuned. So let me show you how I, uh, I'm going to do this right here. So I've taken a scrap piece of board and a straight edge and gave it a little bit of a curb 
scrap my line. And now I'm gonna go ahead and trim my line and I'll sand it nice and smooth. And then I'll put it on my table and I'll tack it down. And then I'm gonna run a router on the edge. So now I'll have a, a just a slight curve to it. Uh, so it's not all square-ish looking. So let me uh, get this cut out, sanded, tacked on here. We'll route that. We'll put it back inside, see what it looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, there it is, guys. So we've got a nice curvature on the front. Corners are nice and round and ready for the laminate. Cushions go over top of that and uh, makes into a nice bed. And then when I'm not using it as a bed, we'll make a table out of it and it'll scoot back about 12 inches. Be close to the wall, but we'll have enough room to get in on the sides. Um, that's going to look pretty good. Cool. All right. Well, I got a little more sanding to do on the front table, and then we uh, will prepare for the laminate. Excellent. Stay tuned. All right. Just a little bit of update. Um, we went ahead and put the edge band around our tables and sanded the top and the bottom. Everything's all flush and smooth. It looks really nice. Same way with the table on the front. Everything is edge banded. Nice, nice good fit. Now we are ready to begin laminating. So we just got to uh, spread our contact cement, the plywood, and on the from mica, and press it in place. Then come back with a trim router and trim the sides or the edges. Man, that'd look pretty good. And that's gonna look really nice. I think uh, I like I like the looks of that. Yep. It looks pretty good. All right. Well, stay tuned, and I'll show you how we laminate this bad boy. All right, hang in there. Okay. So uh, we had our uh, table, and then we put our contact cement down, and then we put our sticks in a series like this. We had our countertop laminated or uh, contact cement then we laid it on and then one by one we would remove the sticks and I uh, couldn't find my roller and uh, nobody had a small one that I could use in any of the stores without buying an expensive one so I just took a piece of wood stapled some carpet over it take my table like this I started at one end and I push getting a nice contact. That's it. Next we'll uh, take the trim router, go around the edge, and uh, set it back in place. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're wrapping up for the day, and uh, I got a few things done that I wanted to get done, so we're making some headway now. So, I've got everything cleaned up, put away, set up, and let me show you what I've got so far, and uh, let me know what you think. I think it's turning out all right. So we'll come in the doorway here, and as we come around, first thing we see is our countertop is laminated in place. I don't have it secured down yet. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do under it first, and then uh, then we've got some nice oak trim that we're going to put around the edges and uh, finish that off. We have our tables 
set in place and uh, sanded down and banded and all that good stuff and uh, next step will be to put the laminate on top of that because I think that turned out really well and then here is the back table in place so that's uh, that's what it's going to look like when it's set up and uh, enough place for uh, two to four people if you have company and then when you want to sleep then you take the table down put it on the rails put your cushions in place boom bedtime all right so that is where we're at today everything is uh, coming along What do you think of that countertop? I think it's better looking than the, uh, the last countertop that I had on there. I wasn't, uh, wasn't too fond of the color of that one, but I like this one. Goes good with the uh, colors on the wall, benches and floors, so it works. It's got just enough black in there to accent with the uh, appliances. Good deal. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of trim work to do. Here in a few weeks, I think uh, I'll be set to order my skin for the outside. And uh, before too long, we'll have, we'll have this out of the garage and uh, start putting the skin on it. I think that's going to be a happy day. Might have to take a couple days off work to do that. All right. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Bye.